got a house we got a fucking house oh my god i'm only gonna be without a home for a couple weeks um so that's good that's good i um cannot believe it we got a house we got a freaking house a house with a pool it's above ground but still it's gonna be weird um yeah i was reading my manga i'm barely into it and then i got a text uh that was like we got it and we actually saved some money on it so that's good we did like an escalation clause offer so we would beat out like their best offer by a certain amount of money and we were able to and we have a house um wow so this house needs paint really really bad i'm gonna caveat this before you all see any of this house uh if you're watching vlogmas when you see this house it needs paint so bad um hold on okay i'm back <laughs> It has been a phone call city uh, all day. <laughs> it is like three o'clock now. I've made so many phone calls. We have inspections scheduled. We have a termite thing scheduled. So that's done. That's exciting. Oh, it's so exciting. Um, yeah, I'm just relieved, honestly, that we basically have a house pending like nothing is major on the inspection. But they just bought the house like two years ago. So honestly, we should be good. Like if there were issues, they should have fixed them. I mean, they're gonna find stuff. They always find things, but yeah. Uh, and I think I'm gonna be FaceTiming with my partner in a bit to see the house again, because I've not actually seen this house in person. <laughs> um, so he's gonna go look one more time and then we're gonna be rocking and rolling. But yeah, I haven't even finished my manga that I read like four pages of and then phone calls started. So. That's my day. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna sit down and read <laughs> How to Be Relation to Volume 4 and My Senpai is Annoying Volume 6 to get those done. And then I think I'm gonna debate how and what I wanna pack with me for the in-between time of my mangas. So I'll take you along on that journey. So I just packed planner stuff. I have a little bag of planner stuff. So we'll see if I touch it even, but I was like, if I don't have it with me, I'm gonna wish I did. So that's, that's done. It's, it's really weird. I just keep thinking today, like, holy crap, I'm only gonna be in my house for a few more nights and then I don't have a home for a bit. But uh, I, I don't know if I told you, editing me if I did, you'll edit this out, but we got the termite report back. We're good to go on that front. Um, the shed and the house itself is good. No termites. So that's good. And tomorrow's the inspection. So hopefully we'll have that back mon next Monday or Tuesday. Um, I've just been gathering <laughs> things all day, like, and putting it in the guest room on the bed for now until obviously we get back from our trip and I can change it to our bed the first night the movers come. But Anyways, yeah, so I've just been gathering up bits and pieces, getting my planner stuff out. Um, I am, like, going through random liquids and getting rid of things that are half empty or more and aren't worth moving. It's just a lot of stuff. Um, I'm very stressed out. <laughs> but, like, not, I don't know, it's a weird. Uh, yeah, I just, I keep having, like, mini meltdowns. Not, like, bad meltdowns, just, like, the realization meltdown where I'm like, oh my god. Uh, we will be moved out of our house next week like we are signing paperwork a week from tomorrow what uh on that note i'm gonna go put this bag of planner stuff with my kakashi i like romance novels more than kakashi likes the makeout series tote 
uh, on the bed in there, so I have that ready to go. Will I use my planner? I don't know, but I thought I should take it with me because I did get like a memory keeping journal this year, Hobonichi to use, and what better time to keep memories than during a move um, and all that fun stuff, so yeah. And I've all out post-it notes to start labeling the do not pack items, so yeah. We shall see, we shall see what happens. Okay, another, Another manga down. I just finished How Do We Relationship Volume 4 finally. <sighs> I'm really struggling with this volume and I don't want to say a lot because I feel like it'll spoil the storyline, but it's a lot that happens in this one volume. Like a lot happens. And I just really need volume five. <laughs> um, I need the resolution because I know that's coming, but like, oh boy, there are some, some stuff that happens in this one that has me feeling a lot of things right now. I'm giving it maybe a four star, I guess, for now. We'll see how it resolves, because I'm very nervous. I am about to dive into My Senpai is Upside Down. My Senpai is Annoying, volume six. I'm gonna read that here. Um, and then I think I'm gonna make myself a little more dinner. I already had like an Uncrustable, but I'm kinda hungry still. Uh, and I've got a vlog on. I've just been slowly watching through people's videos right now because I'm missing so much during my like brain fog of a move um, situation, <laughs> which is natural. But yeah, um, yeah, I'm gonna read that and then I'll probably pick out a couple more volumes to read tonight. I am two volumes behind once I finish My Senpai is Annoying of the where I should be at today, which is 21 books. So I might try and read two more volumes. And if I do, I, I think I already know which two I'm gonna read. So there's that. Uh, and then I need to figure out my my box of manga. So I've packed some, but I'm still debating what I wanna actually bring with me. And if I wanna bring a bunch of series, or if I, like, starts of series, or do I bring some stuff I have that's complete and read that? Choices, choices are being made. But yeah, let's go ahead and read that and then make myself some more dinner and see if I'm hungry still, I don't know. All right, reading sprints tonight. I am finishing up, oops, this, and then I'm gonna read on my Kindle. Okay, volume, did I drop it? Volume six is done, another four star volume. I really can't wait to see where we go in volume seven. I feel like we just got a big development at the end of this one. And it's just so cute. I love watching this awkward relationship progress. It's very slice of life -y, very much a slow build, I guess. And yeah, I just love it. So now I've got 35 more minutes in the sprint. So I'm going to continue reading Sing Me to Sleep and hopefully finally finish the dang book. I'm a mess. Listen, I just keep forgetting to pick up my Kindle because I'm just, my brain. Like I, I wish I could make my brain calm down. Um, these are the moments I wish I was medicated my ADHD but I'm not and there's no time to get medicated for the move so we're just gonna struggle bust through it's fine I will get through it but yeah there's that hi vlog it is Wednesday I've still not read a damn word this is a disaster I'm having a terrible day but I'm in a sports bra because I'm a, or one of my little sportsy bra things I'm about to change hoodies to film another video I pre-filmed Four, I'll have pre-filmed four videos today for end of year stuff, which is a relief. But um, I think I'm gonna sit down and read after I'm done with these because honestly, like I did take my makeup off and cry for a minute. Uh, I guess the biggest update I have right now on why I'm having a bad day is our buyer lied to us. They said they were good to pay the difference from appraisal and I don't know if they're real or lied to them on the appraisal. Like we told them very specifically, like this is what the house is going to appraise for. You have X money that you signed the offer with to pay the difference. They said, yeah, we have it, we're good. And then <laughs> came back with a laughable offer. Um, but also we have a house in Tennessee that we're working on lining up and the appraisal, not the appraisal, the inspection's done. And I am just, we need this this Charlotte house to be done so that we're good to go for the house in Tennessee. 
and that's a whole thing obviously um and we need some of the money from this house to be able to go towards some of the things that he done in the other house and we're just real pissed uh just a tip don't buy a house and say you have the money to cover the difference when you don't that's a breach of contract and yeah it's a whole mess it's a whole mess it's gonna be fine we're getting through it um <laughs> We are getting through it and I am just very upset and very frustrated and we'll, we'll see where everything falls at the end of the day. I'm just so pissed. Rightfully so. I know I, I, I should be pissed and I'm allowed to be mad. And like I said, I don't know if they were really like up in their heads on how this was going to work. Um, we were very upfront. We know we knew exactly what our house would appraise at and it appraised exactly where we said it would. And we, like I said, we're very upfront about that. Um, and then they're like, oh, we don't have that kind of money to cough up. Um, so yeah, we're negotiating some bits and pieces right now. And once that's done, I will feel a slight relief. Um, and I'm just, I just want to be done. Like I am pissed and I just want to be done. But our inspection at the other house did not go too bad. We're asking them for a little bit of money towards repairs, which is normal. It's not too much money though, or like anything extravagant. It's just like, some wood needs repaired, um, needs a new dishwasher, like just little stuff kind of, not, not little, medium stuff, not like structural integrity items. So that's good. Uh, and we're waiting to hear back from them on that. And I'm just, I'm very stressed out. I got to finish packing for Texas and I got to edit this vlog and I feel bad because I've like not read a freaking word, but this is my life right now. And I'm sorry. Uh, hopefully this is still an interesting vlog. I don't freaking know. Next week's vlog will be good though because it'll be my trip and that's you'll get to see this really cool place we're staying at. I don't want to tell you too much about it um, but it's pretty cool. <sighs> All right I'm gonna go put on a new sweatshirt <laughs> and I am gonna film another video so I can have a whole bunch to edit and you know finish packing and then we'll talk about some more manga. I think I'm going to try and read a bunch of manga tonight so I can be caught up for the 25 days and I will be really really happy if I can manage 25 volumes because I think about the intention span I have right now is manga. I just finished my 21st volume of manga, which is The King's Beast Volume 4. I'm giving it three stars. I, I'm not sure. I still can't decide if I want to continue reading this series or not. I think I might give it another volume. This felt like a lot of filler. I just would like more plot development than what we're having in the story. And I'm, I've read other stuff by Rachel Oma and liked it. Um, Specifically, I liked what I read of the Water Dragon Spread, so I feel like I should like this, but I'm just not loving it. So I might do volume five and then decide I might pick them up on sale from Right Stuff even in a few months and do it that way. I'm not sure, but next I'm gonna read Thigh High volume two so that I will at least be caught up with manga through today because I do need to go to bed at like no later than 9 p.m. And it is 7.45, so we'll see. I've had a lot of phone calls today. Again, just just a lot going on. But we did just get the inspection back. It's really not too bad. Um, mostly very fixable items. So we can go from there once we hear back from the sellers to see if they agree to our terms. Okay, I just finished Thigh High Volume 2, and I'm giving it three stars, and I'm done. Um, I think the premise doesn't work after a volume. I just think it kind of like, isn't that interesting? Uh, I was bored. Whereas the first volume was novel and silly. This volume, I was bored. So three stars, I'm dropping this series. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna read The Tale of the Outcast, volume one. 
Um, and that might be all I get through today. Okay. Four and a half stars. I really like this. This is about a demon who adopts a girl, Marbus and Wisteria. Um, he basically adopts her and saves her, and it's really interesting. I really, really want volume two. Uh, I think it's already out. I just gotta pick it up. So that was a total victory. I'm gonna close this vlog out here so I can edit it and post it tonight because it goes up tomorrow, and I have a very sleepy cat. Um, and I have to be up bright and early tomorrow for my flight. So when you see this, I will be traveling, so give me that airplane. Um, and I will be back in just a few days with another video. Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful and safe holiday. Uh, make sure you're boosted. Make sure you are have gotten your vaccine already. Make sure you're getting your booster, wearing your masks. We will be masked on our trip. Um, and we've all been safe previously and are triple vaxxed at this point. Like everyone going triple vaxxed. Um, so yeah, just be safe, take care of yourself, and I will see y'all in a few days in my next video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for Vlogmas, and bye. Here we go. All right. Now this Christmas, we're gonna dance. We're gonna okay. dance, 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 Come on. dance. We're gonna dance, dance, dance. Have a good time. We're gonna dance, dance, dance. All night long, we're gonna dance, dance, dance. And have a good time. I think Santa's gonna come and join us in this song.